Finding out that your baby is less than perfect is hard. It really is. Especially that this is our third child and we'd had two healthy pregnancies, no complications whatsoever. It was really shocking for us to find out that anything was wrong. I mean, not that I would, but I didn't feel any different being pregnant. I didn't have any suspicion whatsoever. Spina bifida is so different in the way that it affects each child. So even when you're researching, you have so many possible outcomes. It's nice that we actually had genetic counseling at that time, but to a certain regard, you kind of feel like you're on an island by yourself at that point. And we were looking for someone to really help us become grounded and know where we were going to be going in the future. It's a full deep role phase. Here at Johns Hopkins, we tailor a new innovative approach for prenatal surgery for spina bifida, which is much less invasive for the mother. When you do traditional open fetal spina bifida repair, you also open the uterus with an incision, and that happens in the most vulnerable part of the uterine muscle. Whereas if you do a fetoscopic repair, then your access to the fetus is minimally invasive, and that averts a lot of problems of open fetal surgery. And gives the opportunity to have a lesser impact not only on the current pregnancy, but for every future pregnancy that she may have or consider as well. So in cases of spina bifida, the three most common neurological findings are hydrocephalus, which is pressure on the brain, Chiari malformation, and the spina bifida lesion itself. It's important that we address those, and through prenatal closure, we're able to reduce the rates of both hydrocephalus and Chiari very successfully. Here at Hopkins, as a pediatric neurosurgeon, I'm involved as one of the first team members that they meet as part of the fetal therapy team, and I help take care of their child throughout the course of their life. They really talked about not just the pregnancy, and not just the surgery, but then what care would look like for Harper down the line. The benefits of prenatal surgery for spina bifida are established when you compare the group of children that have surgery before. Fewer children will require a shunt for hydrocephalus after birth. The motor function will also be improved. We anticipate that after the immediate postoperative period, for women who their course has been uncomplicated, they can gradually return back towards their normal activity. Um, and that is a major advantage for, for life. The idea that I also got to have a vaginal delivery was really, really important to me. My recovery was pretty easy after she was born and that made a huge difference in my ability to be there for her and for my other kids. Because we have such a small core team who's involved in the total care of these patients, any small change we can observe immediately. We have regular follow-up appointments with a lot of doctors, but that's okay. Um, we see neurosurgery every three months just to keep checking on things and making sure things are going well. From her health and the baby's health, we couldn't have asked for anything better from that surgery. Fetal surgery is hard. It's not an easy decision to make. The quality of life that we expect for Harper is the same quality of life we expect for our other kids. Six months. Six months. Six months.